Welcome to a video from the digitallife.com. We have a new Windows 10 Redstone 5 build to look at. This is 17650. For Windows Insider, it's using the skip ahead option. So this isn't Redstone 4 that's going out in, uh, well, any day now. This is Redstone 5 due out for later this year. So there's just a few changes on this, and let me show you those. The first one is Windows Defenders had a bit of a UI improvement. So it's got the fluent design, and um, you can see through the back there and you can see the how the mouse highlighters work the reveal effect i think it's called and so it's had that same look applied to it that uh, other windows apps have had recently so that's good to see a bit of ui consistency and it now supports the um accent color and uh, you can use it as in sets as well so this is where you can have as you've seen this in my previous videos i could have word here i could have a website I could have notepad, um, whatever I choose to have, even task manage anything, it opens up in tabs. And uh, you can see there I've got tabs and I can open a word uh, tab there. You just type in what you want it to do like that. You see it's a little clunky at the moment. Um, there's obviously work to be done. But anyway, there you go. So Windows Defender has now got... Um, as now supports uh, the modern UI style. Uh, a couple of things, Defender Firewall now supports the Linux subsystem as well. So those are the main changes. There's quite a lot of uh, minor fixes. Uh, File Explorer would always open uh, a, a minimized ribbon when you when you open it like that. That's been fixed. They fixed some issues with Defender. They fixed the issue with default languages, color filters. Ah, they at last fixed the problem with the links in settings. I've been talking about this bug for uh, for some time now. Let me see if I can show you. So clicking on any of these links in the previous build uh, wouldn't work, and now it does. There you go. You can see it opening, and in fact, it opens in a in a weird set there. <laughs> There's still obviously work to be done because like, it's open to this set but in a small window. In fact, it's, it's resized the whole thing. Let's see if I open that. There we go. So they fixed that. Um, they've also fixed an issue where setting the default app uh, would crash as well. There's still quite a lot of known issues with this build. Uh, resuming from sleep we may show the window screen before it shows the lock screen. That's been in the last oh, five or six builds. TV, moving TV issue um, with, and accessing your library, that's been in the last five or six builds. Then there's some new ones uh, like tile cascading side by side was not working Word. There's some visual basic editor doesn't appear in sets. <clears throat> um, there's some sets issues with uh, Win32 apps. Um, I think this is going to be, this is where I was saying before you can use Word in sets and in my case it opened up a new window but you could open up a new set there. Just a bit of a refresh uh, office as well. Uh, they fixed some page up and page down issues and if you complete the setup of Windows Mixed Reality headset on this build, the headset will remain black until it's unplugged and reconnected to the PC. So just a warning on that one. So that's all the changes in this build, 17650 Redstone 5. Still quite a way to go on this. Sets are looking good though, I must admit. I think uh, they've done some good work with that. So go on our YouTube channel, you'll see all the Redstone 5, Redstone 4. You can go right back to the very first preview builds of Windows 10 on our YouTube channel. You can find me on Twitter at isdixon and on the digitallifestyle.com.